Okay, Battletech enthusiasts, we're jumping in with some small laser tactica. And at first glance, really the, the fundamental question is small laser or machine gun? Uh, these are very lightweight, portable weapons, low damage output, minimal range, minimal heat. But exploring it from that perspective, ammunition versus no ammunition. So they play, once we move outside of infantry, they play a similar role. And without going on too much of a side tangent, I tend to prefer the machine gun over the medium laser. The machine gun has ammunition that puts you at risk. But with a machine gun, I can engage mechs, I can engage vehicles, and I can engage infantry. But depending on the mech design, and, and we look at the awesome as an example, having ammunition for a weapon that is not going to be used every turn or only used in specific circumstances, the liability for ammo is, is great. And I, before this vlog, I was thinking, I, I looked back at some past battles and I sort of tracked the action, I tracked the mechs that I play and the outcomes. There are significant ammo explosions involving machine gun ammunition versus long-range missiles. And I do have to uh, realize that my data is skewed a little bit because I tend to play LRM boats. So naturally, I have a, a lot of detonations with that type of ammo, uh, either pushing the heat. I mean, I, I kind of do that in the Stalker. Or from the perspective of just taking those internal hits and going to crits. So that's kind of the first decision. You really don't want to take a mech that is primarily energy or is, is like a beast mode, lots of armor, lots of weapons, the machine guns can be a liability. Small laser takes that liability out. But we're going to focus on the small laser here. What role does it play? How do we use it? And what can we expect on the tabletop? Well, from that perspective, the small laser, it fits, right? Doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, we see this on lighter mechs. It, it does give you something to shoot. Now, you could say with a light mech, you really don't want to be that close, but that doesn't always work out. Remember, light mech is about speed, speed and distance. I want to stay at kind of medium range to my opponent, and I want to be moving maximum hexes. If I'm point blank and I'm moving, we've cut down on some of the range modifiers. If I'm point blank and I didn't move, I'm in a lot of trouble. Armor in light mechs, is there for when you made a mistake. And that mistake, uh, hopefully the armor will absorb it or at least you'll lose like, you know, like an armor or a weapon or something like that. But a small laser is a small laser. It does give you something to shoot. And when you don't have a lot of tonnage to work with, you know, light mechs, it, it is another weapon. It's also why we kind of see machine guns on lighter machines. When we get to the heavy end spectrum, you know, like look at the awesome. Um, often... The small laser is taken because it gives you another weapon, but it, it fits in these slots. You know, you'll see this in a head slot where you actually have the tonnage to fit it. You'll see it fit in other aspects, you know, like the uh, left or right torso, where you, you kind of have some extra space for some mech design. And look, any gun is a gun. Any gun is a gun at any range. It's going to be useful, uh, whether that's to cause some damage output or whether that's to possibly soak up a crit slot that might have been something more catastrophic, we're going to add those weapons on. Tactically, it's not so much a weapon of last resort. And, and we're going to put aside anomalies like the Charger. I will mention the Charger a little bit. It is one of my favorite mechs for the lulls because anything you achieve with it in terms of glory is, is absolutely fantastic. But it does have, the lulls aside, it does have some interesting uh, opportunities in playing this mech. So we're going to kind of park that for a second and circle back around at the end before we turn it over to the comments. And, and the full Charger Tactica is up in my Battletech playlist on my channel here. So the small lasers, they're, they're crit seekers. They're useful against vehicles. Um, it's not so much the damage output, it's that I hit you. So if I'm a heavier machine and I am at point blank with you and we are blasting away, at some point you're gonna go to internals. Now once it goes to internals, if there's a chance to damage a critical system, detonate ammo, hit a part of the engine, hit a weapon, then it, it doesn't matter if I'm hitting you with a PPC or that small laser. There's going to be a chance to hit, roll for confirmation, roll on the chart, see what happens. So just, just having another weapon works absolutely fantastic. And we see with the heavier machines, the heavier mechs that mount all of these weapons, they want to get close. You want to get close. 
We also see it as a deterrent for vehicles. And this is a little bit confusing because you say, well, Fritz, deterrent for vehicles, it doesn't do a lot of damage. So where's the deterrent? The deterrent is in the mode of hits. Um, yes, vehicles, the duality of vehicles is, yes, you want to cause significant damage. You want to check off those armor bubbles. You, you want to blow it up. You want to destroy it. But on the opposite side, it's also about just scoring hits, as many hits as you can, uh, preferably side. I'll take rear, but that's a little bit harder to get, harder than on mechs, based on the maneuverability of a lot of vehicles and the profile. But taking those those side hits or forward hits, transferring to motives, that's going to chew things down. So you would be surprised at how a small laser can quickly do that. I mean, you know, likewise machine guns, but again, there's no liability. So it's not a weapon you lead with. It's it's a weapon that's a, a finisher, a crit seeker, something to fire. You've got some extra tonnage and you want to put something in that slot. It it works from that perspective. And again, while I do tend to lean towards the machine gun so I can also deal with infantry, and that's simply because a, a lot of the games that I play, infantry is a very, very uh, important factor combined arms is an important factor but safety tactica new players yeah i would lean more towards the small laser let's finish out with the lulls on the charger um, a, a lot of mech warriors and mech commanders will say you know the charger uh, this is kind of the interesting thing about battle tech you read the narrative you read the tech manuals and you realize that some of these mechs tactically or on on pure meta tabletop don't make sense but you have to realize somebody was selling something somewhere to somebody. So in the tech manuals, the idea of a charger was, hey, let's sell this mech. Let's make a heavy, fast recon mech. Because recon mechs, they're fast, they're light, but you are vulnerable to getting hit. And if you get hit and you get immobilized or you take a, a mode, uh, hits to the legs, kind of cut down on the speed. I mean, it's it's not easy being a recon mech. I mean, just try some of the recon missions where you have to hit various nav points on a hex map. Take your fastest mech and give me a couple of mechs. I'll tag you with something. So it's kind of 50-50. Having the charger, you're just this, this heavy, heavy mech and slabs of armor, you can take a couple of hits on there. So this, this heavy insertion recon mech. And the idea, that, that's how it was marketed. So we're going to put on a bunch of small lasers. So this way the mech warrior doesn't engage, but also we're putting everything in the armor, we're putting everything in speed, we're putting everything into tonnage. Well, the lulls aside, yes, you know, you could upgrade it to the Autocannon 20 and turn it into a proper mech, but in playing the base mech without going into variants, it's a great outflanker. It's a great brawler. Um, I, I often send it with the Locust Swarm, and it, it makes its way around the backfield into your deployment zone. And it gets close. I don't want to charge right in because you'll blast me. But I've got the speed. I've got the moxie. I've got the motivation to kind of run around the table edge or the hex map edge. Get in there. Now, well, I'm not going to rely primarily on shooting. I'm not going to be hanging back like a, like a stalker or a warhammer trying to shoot with my PPCs. I'm, I'm going to like, or, or missiles and lasers. I'm going to get up there and I'm going to punch you. I'm going to use that tonnage, one in six, headshot, and, and just go crazy on you. Or slam you and, and just utilize those aspects, savage you with kicks. So at that point, it's like, well, you know, I'm that close. Uh, I might as well just fire some lasers too to possibly get some crits, to confirm some crits, to see what can happen. So there, there are times uh, where things can kind of come together tactically. Not the first way to do it, not the primary way to do it, not the best way to do it. But when you want tabletop immortality, there is a lot of opportunity in Battletech.